welcome back everybody tonight for another segment of the BTS vlog let me give you the time and date stamp it is two hours and six minutes into the day of Saturday September uh, no two hours and seven minutes into the day of Sat of Sunday it's Sunday December 14th 2014 uh, I Game by earlier, uh, I think it was, uh, man, I can't even remember, I can't remember when it came by, it was, it was l later, it was Saturday night, a couple of hours ago, and I had gotten up, because I couldn't sleep, but anyways, I, I, I had something to eat, went back to bed, and I was able to sleep, and that's usually how it goes. So sometimes I don't sleep straight through. I have to get up uh, from sleep, take a bit of a break, uh, take some notes as I'm doing it, as I'm taking that break, you know, from sleeping. Have something to eat, and then go back to bed again. And that's how I usually end up sleeping throughout, the, you know, throughout my time. Uh, and so now I'm, uh, I'm back again. It's uh, two. It's, it's two, two o'clock in the morning, and I'm gonna start my week. My week usually starts on Sunday, and ends on Saturday night. Saturday night, I know if I've if I'm behind or I'm ahead. And last last night, I knew that I was behind. And the thing is, is that the part of the problem with being behind in terms of your schedule is that you do now have to make find ways of, of catching up again but at the same time it is behind in terms of the schedule but not necessarily behind in terms of the overall progress and uh, let me give you an explanation here sometimes what causes you to get behind is because you get stuck on how to, how to proceed there are, there are a variety of different ways I can go about doing the research and the documentary work that I'm doing and some ways are better than others and if you can if, if, if a slowdown or a uh, an issue slows you up enough where you can figure out a better way of doing something then that's actually a benefit because uh, rather than doing what you were doing before which was wasn't as good as the way you've resolved to do now uh, then you've ended up ahead even though on the uh, schedule wise you're behind and that's what happened last week as I've, I've readjusted my notes I sort of uh, expanded again because you know you, you start off in one way because the notes are small and as your notes start to grow then you have to go into your notes and organize them again because they've gotten too large and unwieldy and you need to reorganize them so that they, when something is too large, they become very difficult to manage. And so you have to break it up into smaller sections and chunks. And that's what happened this week. Things got too large, the notes got too large, a lot of the research notes got too large. And they had to be broken up into smaller chunks, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, in addition to breaking the stuff up into smaller chunks, uh, I've decided to cut back, I think I'm deciding to cut back on one of... Oh, the news, uh, one of the news broadcasts, one of the, uh, the tapings, one of the editions, instead of doing three editions a week, do one edition a week, and then add in one edition of, uh, something known as an Instavlog. Instavlogs are basically mini documentaries. They're, they're the, they're the beginnings of a documentary. Uh, and they're basically the essays that will eventually form an entire documentary. Or a documentary series. Documentaries, uh, I consider documentaries to be beyond an hour, but they're broken up into hour segments, uh, so they're easier to watch. Uh, I, I find that hour an hour is really a limit that most people can handle before they have to take a break from whatever they're watching, particularly if it's a heavy documentary. Uh, and it just what happens after an hour. The, the mind start the uh, the mind can't absorb any more information uh, it's full and rather than continually cramming stuff in there back off give the brain a rest 
and you know at a later date you know maybe the day after or whatever add the next one in and that's how I'm gonna break up the larger documentaries into series and go at it from that way and the one that I'm bringing, bringing on I'm bringing two of them on uh, one is gonna be uh, focusing on um, morality in the world and this has to do specifically with dealing with uh, sexual slavery Two, the other one is going to be on um, oil. It's based off a book called uh, uh, Daniel Jurgen uh, called The Prize. Uh, he did a documentary on uh, PBS years ago. Um, and it's basically the standard if people want to go and find out what's going on with the oil, issue, with oil issues, what's going on with oil prices, that's the book to go see to find out who all the players are. But the book has some problems with it because it doesn't deal with all players equally. And I want to go back in, redo the book, uh, uh, redo the documentary, but this time uh, fix up the biases, bring in the information that's missing. And that way, when you have that documentary put together finally, then you'll be able to go back and say, okay, yeah, this is what's going on here. You'll be able to identify how the oil factor in the world actually plays into geopolitics and uh, that's kind of uh, where, where we're going to go with that uh, anyways uh, that's what's on the schedule for the week I've got to get the, that extra filming done and <laughs> that means a lot more work for the week a lot more studying and right now I'm at Kitty's Mama at, um, on my YouTube stroll I started my YouTube stroll last night around yeah it's around uh, 8 o'clock it's Terry oh so I was up around 8 o'clock. And uh, it's now uh, 2.15, so I'll continue on with my YouTube stroll. My YouTube stroll always starts with Bertelli and then moves its way through. So right now I'm at Kitty's Mama. And then uh, once I'm done at Kitty's Mama, I'll progress to Clintus. And then from there, uh, you know, as far as I get, we'll see what happens. Because I do have to leave for church at 7 o'clock in the morning today. And that will be part of my Greek. And then when I come back, I'll probably be too tired to do anything and just go right to bed. Well, I'll do a vlog, you know, and then go to bed. All right, I will see you in the next segment of the BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye. <sighs> oh, well, as I stated, I said I'd try to keep on the vlogging schedule. And that's what we're doing. It is 16 hours into the day, 16 hours and two minutes into the day of Sunday, Sunday, December 14th, 2014. Yeah, I'm pretty much exhausted. I haven't slept all night. I've been working all night long. And this is the end of the day vlog. So I said I got the beginning. I vlogged somewhere in the middle. And this is the end of the day after church. I'm kind of stuffed to the gills. Uh, I had ended up having two lunches. Uh, they feed me in church. Uh, I got there's a they have a lunch in church, which is really nice. And then I had a lunch afterwards at my parents as well. So the amount of food that's in my belly is really nice. And I was watching a video. I don't need to go. I don't. I'm not going to say when they. Uh, I don't actually have to talk about the channel itself specifically. Because, oh, this is typical of many uh, uh, of typical of many beauty gurus. They talk about the health foods they eat, and a lot of times they talk they touch on organic and vegan stuff. And I'm sorry, organic and vegan, that's completely gross. Uh, and this is confirms my my uh, my my choice that I made. Rather than going vegan, rather than going the health food route and doing what everybody else does, I'm glad I went back to the village and started looking at what my aunts and uncles did, what my uh, my yayas and my uh, papus did for food. Uh, the village food is healthier than what they have up there. And it's significantly tastier. I mean, what they have up there was... It's garbage. It's, you know... It's enough to make a person not want to eat. <laughs> well, you'd be very skinny by that, but the, but the thing is, you'd also be starving. 
Uh, that's probably one of the that's probably one of one of the reasons why all these skinny uh, health people, these vegan people, smoke so much is that they're so hungry all the time that uh, they need to smoke in order to calm the the uh, the, the the hunger pains. Uh, but the thing is, myself, oh, the amount of food that we have that that that's on the um, on the Pan Asian food uh, uh, menu. It's one large cuisine that stretches, the Pan-Asian food stretches all the way from the Middle East in Greece, through India, uh, Korea, Vietnam, China, uh, Japan. All of those, all that food lumps together and becomes Pan-Asian. So if you're of that food culture, the Pan-Asian food culture, you've got vegetarian food, you've got... Uh, dishes that most people have never even heard of and the flavors are out of this world uh, and there there are more than I think uh, 50,000 different dishes in the Pan-Asian cuisine so you would never end up going hungry if you were Pan-Asian uh, so that's kind of where I am in the sort of the, the spectrum of things I'm in the Pan-Asian spectrum because uh, the Greek that it, uh, that I am is I'm Asiatic Greek. I'm Greek from Asia, and that includes uh, Turkey. That includes Syria. There are Greeks in that region. There, there are Greeks even in there were Greeks even in Africa. So you can even have Greeks from Africa. You can have Greeks from uh, India, uh, because there's a sort of intermixing there. And so there are still commu Greek communities from ancient times uh, in these areas. So you have a large mixing of Greeks. You don't simply have what they're considered to be European Greeks. Euro European Greeks are the later emergence. The earlier Greeks are actually the Asiatic Greeks. So, and that's where I am. I'm in the uh, Asiatic Greek and we're kind of, because we're somewhat white, you have an option if you want to. You become European if you want to. And a number of uh, people I know have gone become European and they're doing uh, the, uh, the uh, vegan thing. Uh, but myself, I chose, rather than going the vegan thing and doing some of the other stuff like that, uh, the organic foods, I chose simply to go back to the village and do the Pan-Asian uh, route for my culture. And uh, much better choice than, <laughs> than the, uh, the vegan choice, than the, um, the European choice. Anyways, my eyes are short, shutting on me. I, they're, gonna, they're forcing sh shut. I'm having a hard time keeping them open, so... Uh, I'll talk to you uh, when I get up. Oh, and I just rem remember I was gonna say, was gonna say this earlier. I had looked at my progress, and yes, in terms of what I wanted to do, I was down on the week. But in terms of where I kind of ended up, I was up on the week. In other words, I had actually improved some of the way I do my work and some of the research I'd done. I ended up in a better position uh, at the end of the week than I was in the beginning of the week. In other words, the overall progress, inclu uh, not including my uh, work schedule, the work schedule suffered, but the overall progress, uh, there was some overall progress. There was, there was a net gain in progress. So, uh, yeah, I was feeling a bit bad about the week, but now that I start down and realize where I am now, starting off from the week here, in terms of my research, that I'm in, a better, I'm in a better position than I was the week before, I realized that, uh, yeah, that I, even though I had a bad week, uh, schedule-wise, research-wise, I ended up further ahead. And that's kind of the name of the game. Is you want it on the research side, you, that's what really what, where you want to lead, where you want to go, and because everything else is built on that. So I ended up overall ahead. Overall, I had some progress. Because I had some progress, and that's why all you expect is some progress. I'm happy about that, so yay for that. Anyways, uh, I will see you for the beginning of the day, the next vlog, uh, in a couple hours from now. Alrighty, take it easy. Be prepared to have what you know challenged. By Cyborg Alpha TV Network.
Well, I think I'm up for a bit. I'm not necessarily too sure whether I am or not. Uh, <laughs> it's sometimes difficult to determine whether I'm up for good or I'm up only for a little bit. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to try to see what work can get done while I have something to eat. I am a little bit of peckish. So, uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is... One hour and 43 minutes into the day of Monday, December 15th, 2014. Yay. Uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be the beginning of the week. It's the beginning of a new week here. Um, I'm just going to try and s sort of fix some of this stuff up here for the news. I just finished one broadcast, and now I have to do another broadcast, so... Uh, I'm going to try to get back on schedule for my filming again this week. Um, we'll kind of see how things go. Uh, for some reason, uh, Firefox uh, over the last few updates seems to be really acting really slowly. I don't know exactly why that is, but it is. And so things uh, aren't going as fast as they should be going. But uh, that's kind of neither here nor there right now. Um, right now it's a matter of whether or not uh, uh, I can get this uh, actually working properly. <laughs> Uh, that happens sometimes, is that uh, sometimes uh, uh, Firefox does behave bizarrely on, on Linux. And, and, and I don't know what it is. I think it has something to do with uh, with Adobe. That Adobe, for some reason, is not uh, behaving properly. It's starting to crash more often than not. So, uh, but The thing is, they were, they were supposed to change the format. Everyone said, oh, yeah, yeah, we're all going to leave Adobe. We're all going to leave Adobe. We're going to change the format. And then... Uh, they made the plans to move off of Adobe, but uh, uh, the websites themselves uh, continued on using uh, Flash Media, and a lot of advertisements use Flash Media. Uh, in other words, there's a number, there's a fair amount of attention to Flash Media that is, in many ways, paid to uh, uh, You know, operate because you know it's, it, uh, Adobe Flash Media is not freeware. You have to actually pay for it. So, um, what's actually going on? I really don't know because I said they were supposed to have killed off uh, Flash Flash Media a while ago, but that never occurred. I wonder if that was kind of a false lead or or, or something designed to sort of you know get uh, the community sort of. Uh, the freeware community in a state where uh, the software is no longer functional because the freeware causes a problem for a lot of the big major companies because if, if Linux exists and it does well without really many glitches or anything like that then uh, people will start migrating to it but if there are glitches and problems and it never really sort of pulls together and operates in, sa in the same way in terms of in terms of uh, that uh, freeware does. Freeware is uh, no anyway. Uh, commercialware. Commercialware. Windows and Macintosh, they have out of the box solutions. There's not really that many problems. There's you don't have to go down and really do a lot of configuring with them. But Linux, there's a lot of uh, background engineering work. There's a lot of configuration work that has to go on. And if you're not used to that, that can present a bit of a problem. And so the question is whether or not we're in the right place for this, or uh, you know, or whether or not uh, you know there, there, there does seem to be a problem within the within the Linux community itself. There was a split uh, with FFmpeg and uh, the two uh, video groups. I don't know that maybe that's causing the problem here, but uh, I'm not necessarily too sure uh, what the problem. Is. I just know that uh, Firefox is behaving rather bizarrely in terms of uh, 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 shutting down. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. <laughs> My mind is wandering, so... 
Uh, I'll leave this uh, for now. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. Uh, we'll see if I'm up a little bit long longer, and if I am, then it'll be the beginning of the day. If I'm not, then I'll come back and vlog at the beginning of the day. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another segment of the BTS vlogs. Yeah, I'm pretty much exhausted. Uh, again, uh, it's just about 8:30 at night. Let me give you a time and date stamp. It is uh, 20 hours and 39 minutes into the day of Tuesday, December 16th. To 16th, uh, 2014. Uh, sometimes when you're tired like this, this is where it's been all day long. I almost didn't vlog today uh, because I've been so tired. But uh, it's been one of those oscillating sleep days. I don't have a regular sleep time at this particular point. Uh, I'm up and down all day long. No particular uh, sleep, no particular bedtime. So I'm up for a bit. Awake for a bit, sleep for a bit. Awake for a bit, sleep. Asleep for a bit. And that's kind of the way the day has been going. But as daunting as that is, and this is why I always talk about working on my efficiency model. Because if your efficiency model is done appropriately, if you do a good job on your efficiency model, You'll be able to get work done during the day, during your, during this sort of, uh, you know, I guess you call it a slow period. So much so that um, there's no real lag or backlog anymore, and that's the sort of what's going on here. I've been able to get enough work done during the day, enough filming, enough editing work done, that come tomorrow there isn't going to be a backlog. So I'm not going to have, I'm not worrying about a backlog uh, going into tomorrow. Uh, I, I think, as a matter of fact, I'm actually improving on things. So there's a, there's actually an improvement that's going on because there isn't one. There's no backlog. That means I'm getting all the work done I need to get done. Uh, I, I just and I just now finished uh, um, my my second spot on the YouTube stroll. I started off with Bertelli, went to Clintus uh, TV. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed now. Uh, I'll go to sleep for maybe about uh, three four hours. Get up. And then I have a uh, news program to edit. I have to do my the news program has to be edited, and then rendered. That will take it about ten hours to do rendering. Uh, so then I'll be able to upload it on Wednesday uh, to uh, my news channel. So uh, things are coming along. Uh, my notes are getting better. My note taking is getting better. My uh, Research work is getting, you know, and somewhat easier in terms of being able to organize things. Oh, there's still a fair bit of work to get done, but uh, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, even when I'm in my down periods like this, I'm getting work done, so uh, a yay for that. And I'm going to leave this short here now. I'm not going to do a long video because I am kind of knocked out. And I will see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs. And before I forget, uh, I am trying to develop a channel that's going to be replacing cable. If you want to cut the cable, you want to watch a regular TV show, you want to watch a TV show on uh, you, on YouTube that doesn't cost anything, uh, a half hour program, hour program. That's what I'm working on. And if you want to help support me out, uh, don't forget to. Uh, Click the like but like button uh, if you can, if you want to click sub subscribe and you can often often leave and you can also leave a comment down below and the thing is the way I'm going to handle my comments is I'm not going to be answering the comments I'm not going to reply to your comments down below uh, directly by comment I'll do some but I won't do everybody what I will be doing is if there's enough comments in, in down below I'll talk about the comments. In the video, so uh, if you leave a comment in, down below, I'll talk about your comment in the video. That's kind of how we'll be interactive: is that you comment down below and I respond in the video here. It, it, it is part of the BTS vlogs. Uh, I think that's a, an interesting way to sort of uh, make the program interactive. Uh, sort of, you know, I'll watch what Clint has done 
he interacts on the uh, on the uh, comment thing, but the thing is, he's got one channel. I've got a whole variety of channels, and it'd be too much for me to go down below and sort of talk to everybody and do all the research I need to get done during the day. The easier thing for me to do is because I see the comments come in, is as the comment comes in, jot down a little note, and then when I'm doing the next segment of the BTS vlog, just say, well, so and so on such a day uh, made this comment, and this is my reply to that comment. So in other words, the reply to the comments will be in the videos rather than uh, in the comments down below. So uh, I think that would be an interesting way of doing things. Uh, you can let me know uh, what you think about that. And uh, I will see you next segment of the BTS Vlogs. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.